Dream of owning a home in California is starting to feel like a bigger nightmare for some. A new study reveals just how much money couples need to buy a median priced home, and it's bigger than ever. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict has a closer look at the research and reaction to it. They are simple chores in every home, but where we wash our dishes or water our plants matters, especially when you're a renter who wants to buy. It seems so impossible and so out of reach. Alex Izzo and her husband have been wanting to buy a home since they got married a couple of years ago, but the American dream keeps slipping away. When you think of like our parents buying houses when they were younger and it was always so much sooner and like now I'm in my 30s and like we're still living in an apartment and we don't have the means to afford a house. And the more time it takes to save, the higher the price climbs. Like many, they just can't get in the game. Everyone's like, well, you can move to Texas and buy a huge mansion. I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> I don't work in Texas. And here in Los Angeles, a new study says their dream is now even further out of reach. Real estate in Los Angeles has gotten so expensive, it's out of reach for people who are even upper middle class, let alone middle class. Daryl Fairweather is the chief economist for Redfin. It just released a new study showing the income you need to buy a median priced home in LA soared 40.7% in one year, meaning in 2021, you needed an income of $157,000. Now, you need $221,000. There are basically no affordable neighborhoods in Los Angeles anymore. It used to be that if you went to certain neighborhoods, you can find a deal, or if you went with a condo, you could find a deal, but there are just so few homes that are affordable to somebody who is trying to buy their first. And if you think LA is bad, the annual income to buy in Anaheim is now at $254,000, San Jose, 363,000, and San Francisco, $402,000 of annual income. Of course, most of these stats are due to climbing mortgage rates. There are some really creative programs out there. But realtors like Suzanne Sini say there is still hope. You're marrying the home, not the interest rate. She says find a lender first, look for down payment programs, and ask about a 3 2 1 mortgage where you pay less now in hopes of refinancing later. If interest rates today are at 6.99%. The first year, your interest rate is actually only going to be at 3.99%. And economists agree. Don't wait on interest rates. If there's a home on the market right now that you can afford the mortgage on and you really like, then I don't think you should wait. But of course, affording the mortgage is the key and the fear that keeps the Izzos in an apartment still dreaming of something more. We're thinking about like a two year plan, hopefully saving up enough income between the two of us. And then at that point, we'll have enough money for a down payment. From Studio City, I'm Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.